So an article in the Globe and Mail, front page of the sports section, says, The coach takes team from outhouse to penthouse. We're going to be talking today to Chantal Vallée, head coach of the women's basketball team here at the University of Windsor. Chantal, thank you so much for joining me. Glad, it's my pleasure. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, very good, thanks. <laughs> Why did you come to Windsor? I had coached basketball, I had been a coach for a long time. The two athletes I had coached that was, were playing for the University of Victoria back in the day. And the UVic job was open. And the girls had called me saying, you should apply, you know, we'd love to have you as a coach for our school. As I'm applying on that position, uh, there also is the position open for the University of Windsor. Well, it turns out that uh, Windsor would First one to call me back, hire me, and I thought, do I try to make a career out of this? When I came to the interview, I was 29 year old, and I thought, you know, it's a good time to maybe give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I can always do something else, and I right. moved all my stuff to Windsor and decided to give it a try. So what was your impression when you reached Windsor? You know what? Being part of the Quebec team head coach, we had many tournaments in Michigan, and in all honesty, the, the time I saw the name Windsor as being advertised for the job, the only thing I could remember was the beautiful blue water, the boats, you know, and the sea doos and all that fun stuff that you see when you cross. And I always thought, man, that sounds like such a fun city to be in. <laughs> Great. So, being from Montreal, I thought Windsor was like, you know, the hoot, like the best place, you know. To, to be in. I don't know if I can see the hoot or not, but So you know, for me, it sounded really cool. I decided to to do it, and so when I came here, I liked it. I liked the fact that there was a lot of French around. Actually, yeah. that was a surprise to me. Uh, that was very attractive to me. Once I was already here, to find out about that French community, I often think back, and I think that uh, I was very fortunate that everything fell into place to allow uh, me to experience some success and, and I owe a lot to Windsor for that. Uh, I'm just, I just feel very, very blessed to be here. How did you get into basketball? I was in the grade uh, seven and at our school there was a women's basketball team. I decided to try out and I made the team and then I just loved it and I just kept at it. In grade 12, there was no more basketball team, so I had to do something else to keep me uh, passionate about the sport. I decided to start coaching. So I started, I, I started coaching very young mini basketball, uh, elementary school kids, and, and then I guess from there continued to coach and, and became, uh, you know, I guess who I am today. What does it take to be a winner? You know, it, it's all the same qualities, whether you want to be uh, excellent or an expert uh, in, the, in the field of sport, or it could be media or in music. A lot of dedication and passion, commitment, hours and hours and hours of training, rehearsing, doing the same things over and over again. I tell my players that uh, basketball is an art. Uh, we're artists. We create moves, we respond to you know, feelings. We're in entertainment. When the fans come in, it's a show we gotta put on. You know, It's gonna be fun to be successful and to put a good show. The training, the running, the pushing, the weightlifting, all of that is what makes the show entertaining. The amount of time and dedication that uh, these women put in uh, as players is what I think makes them winners. Basketball as an art, that is the first time I've ever heard it described that way mm -hmm. in like such a passionate way like mm -hmm. that. I love it. Well, I've, I've always, I like to think of myself a bit like as an artist, actually. I've, you know, think about it. I have a group of, of 12 women. I've got to take this and make this into a masterpiece and soften it up. And we're talking about like character, personalities. And I've, I've got to be a big maestro and kind of like, that's kind of how I see this. Like I'm kind of this like, um, Orchestrator. Orchest yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. And I was listening one day to, to Spielberg, even as a movie director, explaining how he, he sees the end of, of the plan of what he wants the movie to look like. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I see that too when I coach. I see the end result. And then it's, it's building this into everyday practices and to the most minuscule detail of organization that I have to put together to make an athlete perform at her best. It's kind of what I do. <laughs> Do you have any parting words for all your fans out there? Parting words? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm any... so French still, eh? Jeez. <laughs> any last words of wisdom oh. or advice that you'd like to pass on to all your fans watching? Something I tell my girls all the time, like, as long as, as, as it's fun, we're doing it the right way. Sometimes people are so hard on themselves, put so much pressure on themselves. Uh, that, that shouldn't be the goal of life. I think it's important that uh, you know we want to achieve and we want to do great things and we want to be good, but uh, do it with fun, enjoying it, smiling, 
hope for the best results. Uh, I think it's important to take time and sit back in life and smile and enjoy, um, you know, so that life doesn't just pass by and next thing you know, you know, it's over. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's such an interesting concept talking to a coach that's not so, and I know it's important, but like not so competition driven. You know, it's like, gotta win, gotta win, gotta win, gotta win. It's like, have fun. <laughs> well, you know, uh, yeah. I it, love it. Well, I'm sure if you ask my players, they, they, they would yeah. think I'm super competitive driven, <laughs> yes. and I am. So um, it, I guess it's always about balance. Right. Uh, because one of the reasons I am in coaching is obviously to, to fulfill this competitiveness that right. I have in me. And, and, and I am super competitive, but I try to always think um, with the competitive, with the wins and losses, the highs are so highs and the lows are so lows in sport. Through it all, we have to have fun doing it. Great words to live by. I want to thank you so much, Chantal, for joining My me. Pleasure. It's, it's been a yeah. pleasure talking yeah. to you. Same here. Thank you, Glenn. Good luck. Take care. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the, the first idea when somebody says, well, you could always coach, I'm like, oh, man, you just want to play, you know? Right. And you certainly do not want to be the coach because it's <laughs> not something that, you know, usually players don't get along the best with their coaches. And, and our, our high school coaches were super hard. And so I was like, well, like, me being a coach, I, I, didn't see, uh, I didn't see fit much into that idea.